Hello and welcome to a Tabletop Bellhop Cardboard Coat Check. I am Mo Tuzano, the Tabletop Bellhop, your cardboard concierge. Working with you to make your game nights better. Now, what I am hoping to do for you today is let you know if you should be interested in this. This big, heavy box, this surprisingly heavy box. This is a shiny new copy of Distilled from Paverson Games, who I do have to thank for giving us a review copy to check out that we got to bring back from Origins 2023. Uh, this game has us hyped. This looks fantastic. Now, I will admit I'm more of a craft beer fan than a whiskey hard alcohol fan, but I love the whole brewing process and everything that's involved. And from what I got to see at the demo I got to try at Origins, this game does a great job of integrating the brewing theme with the actual mechanics. But enough about that. This is a one to five player game. Um, 30 minutes per player, kind of heavy, a uh, game about brewing booze. First off, though, before we can play it, we got to crack it open, and I brought you along to see what's in this box, so you get to see it at the same time I do. Now, I have done a demo of this, so I've seen the components, but I haven't actually, like, opened a box before, so let's get to it. Here we have my shiny new copy of Distilled. I'm going to quickly show you the sides. What I dug, dig about this is I appreciate any publisher who realizes... Some people like to store their games like this, and some people like to store their games like this. I always appreciate that. It's a little thing, but it matters. It matters to us board game collectors. So let's look at what we get. Here it comes. Holy cow. Sorry, I'm going to tip the side again. So stop! All right, we're done. No more unboxing. Um, do not throw away your punch board frames if you punch them out. It has a games tray insert. Once you've done, you'll be left with a gap, so you're going to put it at the bottom. I tell everyone to do that. That is something we mention on the Tabletop Bellhop Gaming Podcast all the time. If, unless your game comes so the box doesn't quite fit when you open it, then it's already accounted for. You want to put those cardboard punch outs at the bottom. All right, so now we know that. So we have a first taste. I dig that. So there's a step-by-step -step guide for new players. Um, we talk about onboarding and board games. Now, video games are great at board games aren't so great. Um, this is great. That there, there's Here's your onboarding book that goes through all of the components and what's going on. I love it. I love seeing this. Text is nice and big. Oh, okay. You need smell vision Anyone watching this right now, I, I feel bad you cannot get the mm, new game smell. It's so good. All right, going through this. Oh, I love it. It's a linen finish, even on the paper here. Really nice. I gotta say, for a quick play guide, this is looking a little meaty. Nice, classy look. Then we get to the rule book itself. Yeah, that. Okay, I, I said medium weight. Maybe, maybe I'm heavy. Maybe I meant like heavy, heavy. I will admit, I've only done a demo of this game. A weight 289 on BGG. So, yeah, medium heavy. I love this linen finish. Great looking artwork here. Fantastic component over here, but publishers, if you're not this people, pay attention. Show both sides of your cards, because that way when you're sorting through, you can tell what they are. Layout of the table. Oh, this is nice. This this is a well-laid-out rule book. I hope it's clear as well. That I'm not going to be able to tell from here. Lots of great examples. Artwork from the game. Yeah, I'm, I'm impressed already. It's looking great. Really great. End of a round. So we're done the rules. On page 16. That's not that bad. And then... What we have here? We have some commonly forgotten rules. Tasting flights. Interesting. Oh, wow. They've, they, they've worked with tabletop audio. I wonder how many people use tabletop audio. Uh, we, have a, we have an episode about sound at the table where we recommend tabletop audio. This is all the different spirits and information about them. There's a solo mode. And a nice reference on the back. Impressive. Literally, like, impressive. Uh, the, between the quick start and this. We get the money. Now, I know metal coins are an available upgrade. This is the retail version of the game that I have here. That is the first player token. What I do appreciate about the money is it is different sized, which does help with accessibility. These are the labels for your various booze when you brew it. Which you're going to use to show different things at the top, as well as uh, scoring tokens. More labels. These are end of game scoring that players can can award their awards that you get. For example, the high class sell a spirit worth twelve, uh, what are victory points or more? We have more of those. There is the master distiller award. 
Then we have the player board. So this is your, your distillery where you're going to upgrade it slowly. You've got where you age your stuff. This is storage for your barrels and your bottles. This is where you actually keep all your resources. And then your front office, which is going to have your family member because you, you have recruited a brewery from someone. So that's who would go here. So there are four of these, I would assume, for four players. Oh, five. It's five player. Sorry, my bad. Five player. And then we get into, look at this, game trace. Love it. Game trace is awesome. So I can already tell. Look what goes right there. Look at that. Nice. This is a sideboard. One of the boards. Oh, sorry. I don't remember off the top. This is the truck. Okay, it's the truck with the ingredients. All right, took me a second. Truck with ingredients coming in. Then you have the basic market. This is the stuff that's always available. It's a little, oh good, it fit on the camera. So you have the basic market where this, these are the basic ingredients anyone can buy, gonna be available. We have a two layer board here for the various type of boozes you can brew. At the start of the game, all you can brew is vodka and moonshine. You're also going to have a signature brew for your family. that was passed down for generations. So you get a nice two layered boards for this, which I love. We're going to dig a little deeper, and I don't think there'll be too much to see here because the trays aren't filled yet because we haven't gotten to the actual components. But I dig it. Look, it's a cask. I don't know if you can see that. Isn't that awesome? So again, more stuff here. Now we're going to get into the scoreboard with all the various shapes of glasses on it. Up here are where the labels go. We got a nice piece here to protect what's underneath. I'm running out of places to put all this stuff. We're gonna move my coffee out of the way. So here you have all the various different randomized um, boards. So these cards go on here and it shows all your various recipes and what you get from making them. And there are different ones. See all the different possible um, recipes. And then brown cubes, which should be in here somewhere. Brown cubes are going to go in here to show what you've learned how to make. Now, in addition to these, we also have a bunch of summary cards. Always appreciated. They look very clear. A little small text. That's fine. And then on the back, some kind of iconography summary. Greatly appreciated. One for every player. We're going to put these back. Okay, I don't know if that's the proper place for this, but that's where it's going right now. Uh, so these are just cubes in the player colors, various player color cubes, they're wooden cubes. I'm assuming if you're watching this as a heavier game, you've probably played Euro games before. Euro games, cubes, they go together. We've got gold, silver, and brown cubes. And then we have matching uh, distillery, like player board, player icons for your various companies. Sorry, they don't match the cubes. These are, these are for scoring. Nice, chunky. Look how chunky those are. We have a first player barrel. Nice wooden component here. Looks like a barrel. If you live anywhere with bad humidity, keep these. Keep them in your game. Protect you from the humidity. If you don't, throw them out. Either way, make sure kids can't get to them. All right, micro cards, hobbit cards, little tiny cards. We're gonna crack these open. Okay, these I never saw. So it looks like these might be for the solo play. So we have distillery goals. Yeah, solo, yeah, solo goal cards. I was gonna say, I'm like, I don't recognize these from the demo I did. I understand why I did not do a solo demo. Look at those, that is a huge stack of cards. Now I'm just gonna guess they'll go here and put them back. And then we have various distillery goals which are end game like private scoring information from what I remember. Now we get into full size cards, which is gonna be all your ingredients and upgrades and things you can buy. So here we have various ingredients. I love the art, it's really well done. So your various different sugars, or is this sugars? No, yes, sugars. So various different sugars that you can add, sugar cane, plant anise, plant sugar, fruit sugars. Various different sugars to make your various booze, grapes. Then, of course, yeast. We have different types of yeast. Mountain spring water, various types of water. 
um, different barrels. Because what you brew, what barrel you use, makes a huge difference in the final taste. So various different types of barrels, clay barrels. Love the artwork. Um, stainless steel barrel, if I remember, that's what you start with. And glass bottles, which is the first thing you have to put your stuff in. And eventually you can upgrade, you know, to get your fancy skull bottle for your booze of choice. From that to that. Again, love the art. Very well done. Canister bottles. Then we have upgrades. So I'm going to put these in a different spot. These are various upgrades you can do to make your distillery better, like the Spirit Safe or the Greenhouse or various people you can hire, the co-op manager, and so on. I'm going to put that into a different slot. We're going to grab this. I see more ingredients. All right, more ingredients, starting with your basic yeast. Lots of basic yeast and basic water. So these are like the defaults. Then we have mixed grains. Then we get into mixed plants. We're getting back into plant sugars here. And mixed fruits. And new bottles, or sorry, barrels, more barrels. I don't know if these decks have to be separated for now. I'm just gonna put them back in where they came from. I think we're gonna have a lot more of the same here. More barrels, bottles, barrels. Oh, here are some of the where you are inheriting, your family heritage, who you got the brewery from. Dig the diversity here. Always nice to see. Love it. Then we have the tasting journal. This I don't remember seeing during the demo. I saw the various cinnamon. Whole bunch of tasting cards. And, well, the alcohol, a very important part of any booze is your alcohol. We have one more set of cards to go through. So probably a ton of alcohol cards. Yep. We're going to put those with the other ones. And then various grain sugars. Need your grains, fruit sugars, and your basic rice. Sorghum, wheat, etc. Gonna toss those here because again, I don't know how they're all supposed to be sorted. So you have everything that comes with distilled. I try to put this back so I can put it all back together. I am going to protect everything with this because that made sense to me. Then I'm gonna throw these down here and here and here. Then we're gonna put this on top here. Uh, those player boards I think fit here. Maybe at some point I will do a reboxing video where I will put all these components. Oh, I think that was underneath some of this. Was it not? I don't even remember. Nope, that was here. Okay. Where was this? It's this on top. I don't even remember. It's terrible. So we're going to player boards. This. All the stuff to punch out. That'll eventually get sorted into those nice inserts. Love game trays inserts. Absolutely adore them. Um, remember, don't throw your cardboard out. Goes underneath the game trays. Distilled. Everything you get, a quick look, a quick look at everything you get in Distilled, a spirited strategy game from Paverson Games, a, a heavier game about making booze. From moonshine and vodka to finer blends. A uh, game that's very thematic where you're actually going to have to like mash all your ingredients together and you're going to have to put them in barrels and you have to age it and then you have to bottle it and you can upgrade and tons going on in this game. Fantastic looking components. Note this is the retailer version. There are no upgrades in here. This is what you get if you pick up a copy of the game, including the game trays inserts, which I got to say are top notch. I love game trays inserts. I am really looking forward to checking out Distilled. Uh, my wife is more hyped than I am about this. This was the one game. She's like, you've got to unbox this first so we can play it right away. Now, when we do finally sit down and get in some games of Distilled, I will be sharing my thoughts on social media. Find me every site pretty much as Tabletop Bellhop One Word. And then I'll, of course, then do a review after we played the game a few times and tried it out with a couple different groups. You'll be able to find that on the Tabletop Bellhop Gaming Podcast and a written review on the blog, tabletopbellhop.com. But step one is going to be playing the game, and I can't play the game if I'm talking to you. So thank you very much for joining me for this unboxing video. 
I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. I was pretty hyped looking at that stuff. I hope you could feel my enthusiasm for this game. Really looking forward to checking out Distilled. Good day and game on.